Coco Goff versus Naomi Osaka. It's a blockbuster fourth round match in Beijing for 2024. Both players have had different roads to get at this stage. Osaka started the tournament unseeded and would take on Bronzetti in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2. In the second round, she'd take on the 21st seed Putin Seba. She's had some battles against in the past. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 3 6 6 4 6 2. In the third round, she'd take on Volley Nets, a match that was supposed to happen earlier than it was, but because of the rain, it was delayed for a day. But this is in effect Osaka winning in straights. 6 3 6 2. Goff into the tournament as the number four seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Burrell, and after a close first set, would get through in straights. 7 5 6 3. In the third round, she'd take on Bolter, the 26th seed, and again, after a first set that was close, she'd get through in straights. 7 5 6 2. These two have played four times before with the head to head split down the middle 2 2, including two matches at Grand Slam level, of course, at the Australian Open and the US Open, having split those 50 50 as well. So, really interested to see how this matchup goes in their fifth time playing, especially with the new coach for Osaka and also Goff has been going through some things as well. So, it's a perfect time for these two to play. If Osaka's going to win this one, she needs to be aggressive and take over that baseline, make Goff run. We know Goff is a great defender, but if Osaka's got any chance of winning this match, she's going to have to stand on the baseline and be the aggressor. Also has to serve well, which she's been doing over the last couple of matches. If Goff's going to win this one, she can't double fault as much as she does. When she does lose those matches over the last couple of weeks or months, she's been double faulting so much, so she needs to limit those double faults and also make Osaka move. Run her around because we know Osaka on the run is not as effective as when she's on the baseline. Blockbuster match this one. It feels so good to see these two play again, especially in a fourth round of such a big tournament. I've got to go with Osaka, though, in three sets. I reckon she might be able to provide the upset. She's played really, really well this week so far. And with Patrick Moratoglu in her box, I reckon that's given her some new confidence. And I reckon she might just get Goff in the end. But let me know the cost below. Who's going to win this match?